Not only when you play Victoria 3, you don't colonize Africa until a bit later, because this is all decentralized normally, and you can't go there because they have little mosquitoes which give you malaria. But this mod turns them all into normal nations, and um, they didn't really give a lot of different models here in this mod, uh, they are kind of just the same with different beards and hairstyles. And who would be better to play in this mod than the United Kingdom? I just don't want to touch the European affairs, I just want to enslave all of modernize Africa, that, that's what we call it. I have to start as soon as possible because this is a lot of land, it will take a lot of time to get all of this. Oh yeah, it was also going on. These guys actually said no. I, I didn't think I was gonna have to fight you, but I guess we're gonna go to Kenya. You have zero troops, not entirely sure how you wanna fight back. Well, that worked out great for you, didn't it? Next job is beat up the Chinese for a bit of money, because I don't have any money. You can't fight that good when you are addicted to opium. And I'm here to sell you a bit more of that. I wish we could start another war already, but now we sadly have to wait for this war to end. This is the one thing I don't like about Victoria. Actually, no, there are multiple things I don't like about this game, but this is one of the main things. I can finally start to afford to do some education again now that I have the Chinese money. Without those 38k, I would bankrupt myself faster than you can drink tea. I think for the rest of this game, China will just be our piggy bank. Alright, they're starting to fight each other. Good, that means I'll have to take over less people. Especially because they keep fighting back, even though they have zero divisions. Why does this army even have a general? My hope is that all of these people who do not have factories are gonna buy stuff from my factories. And I'm gonna make a lot of money from them, while also taking their money. I didn't do the math yet how they're gonna be able to afford the stuff while I steal their money. But I'm sure we're gonna work something out here. Alright, never mind, we're not building factories, we're building tea plantations. In the treaty port we stole from China, of course. Uh, the British will not stop being British. Ah, finally, a nation of an army, the Zulu. 21,000 people. Let's see how this is gonna work out for you. Surprisingly not going well. You don't even have a shirt on, my man. Why are you fighting me? The Serbians are coming to London. Oh no. Ah, I know why. They're starving over here. No, so far, the, my plan on just enslaving everyone in the world instead of focusing on improve my own country. Lots of supporters, I must say. Belgium wants to have a defensive pact with me. Um, you see, I'm not really sure how it would benefit me. I think that's just a benefiting you situation, so no thank you. The Germans might get you, but I don't care. They are not Africa. Oh, and now the Albanians are coming here. Ottomans, what are you doing to your people? They all want to flee to me. The hell? How are these people so rich? Oh, they have seven gold. <laughs> yeah, don't mind if I do. I must say, as soon as we take these guys over, they get very cool uniforms, and I like that. I might not even do it for the money, I just want to hand out my cool uniforms. I think the Chinese money just went away. Definitely did. Right, as soon as we're done with the nation of uh, Griekaland, we're gonna go beat up the Chinese again. Alright, we're not gonna go in on China quite yet. I've never seen China have like an aristocratic revolt or something. No, Europe has been very calm so far. I don't have, I haven't seen a single war here. What the hell is that? So far, my little empire down here is growing very nice. And the only other thing that is really moving in the world is the Chinese moving against the Chinese. So, my power growing, the other ones not. Oh, and the Tories won the election. That is something they won't see anytime soon. Wait a second, when did that happen? What did I miss here? Oh, sure, Portugal. I don't even need to beat you up to join my customs union. Like that, I now have so many people, they just flood whoever I'm fighting. It's not good units, they're all like irregular infantry, but you know what? I appreciate the effort, Mr. Sikokuni Kanabla- Is that a spelling mistake or is that actually his name? I don't know if this thing just glitches out the US. They're not getting Texas or Mexico. I'm currently going to war with India to make them a lower puppet. But now India had to revolt. Um, who am I fighting now exactly? Of course, you also had to come in. I don't see them anymore. But it says they were swayed and they never left. Uh, I love Victoria 3, it's such a good game. Why do I have minus 12,000 convoys? Why is this game so bugged? After a quick reload, we have 3,000. Thank you, Victoria, for being such a working game. Around 35% of my income is currently just me beating up foreigners. That is my entire economy, basically. Every time I go to war now, I have 850 units on my side. I have 167. <laughs> Just all oh my, oh my god, them colonies around here. Only issue is the game goes slow as shit with all of these people having units. Oh, now you're coming in uh, while I'm having a revolution. I'm going to beat your ass. No, I wanted to beat up France. Ah, oh, god damn it. You joined again. <laughs> Wait a second, I just noticed I don't even have a border with these guys. Whoopsie. But hey, I own the Suez Canal. Uh, well, it's not built yet, but um. We will soon own the Suez Canal in... Holy shit, that's a long time. Ooh, 
love, it's a lot of money we're giving them. We don't have that. But France is in more crippling debt than I am, so as long as I survive longer than they do, it will all be fine. Holy moly, we're going into debt fast. They were just at like 3 million and a bit ago. Oh, <laughs> that's how much we got per week. Yeah, I'm definitely winning this. Look at their standard of living. They're struggling. My peasants are thriving. They're only impoverished. And the Bosnians are now leaving the Ottoman Empire. Oh my god. Yeah, their population has flatlined since 1836, despite gaining all these lands back. Alright, yeah, I'm sorry, but we're peacing out. While France is suffering more than I do, I am very bored. Oh, the US is finally going to war with Mexico. They still don't have taxes. Oh, wait. I'm getting opium addiction events because of my treaty put. When you look at the British market map, you can see half of Africa basically belongs to me. Also, infamy is a myth. I'm totally not reaching the limit. We now have over a thousand units on my side. As you can see, we're a pretty wild mix. The Albanians again, Ottomans! Ooh, this is gonna bring us above a handle infamy, but sure, why not? Let's play that game. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, but you're not cutting me down to size. <laughs> it seems everyone likes me on this whole <laughs> We still have more units than they do. Only issue is all of our units are basically just peasants. But hey, we're beating up Sokoto, the guys over which this whole thing started. So I must call this a victory. Okay, luckily my navy is modernized and no one else is, so I'm beating the shit out of everyone in the sea. You see, it might look like this war is costing them more than me, but this is split up of over the USA, Russia, Turkey, Spain, and Austria, while this is all me. So yeah, this is hurting me a lot. Plus, I'm still paying 30k per month for the Suez. I must say, this war is wonders for my economy, but that is honestly just for deficit spending. That's all that is. Luckily, my interest rate is 0.8% right now. If I lose that, I am fucked. I have 11 million of debt. Oh, oh they gave up. They gave up. Okay, I'm still at war with everyone else, but I just need to piece Spain out and the war's over. Apparently, there's a Russian fleet stationed here. Can you find it? No. For some reason, the AI wants to turn whales into a giant arms manufactory. <laughs> They're already free here. What the? Ah, uh, I propose this peace deal. Everyone agrees with it. Why are we not doing it exactly? Come on! You were the only one I wasn't at war with. Screw it, I feel like becoming Italy. Ah yes, the swarm of a thousand units coming for a little revolt. And the Italian army is dead, so time to just take over Italy. Yeah, I'm sorry, we can't land because this navy is here with 800 men versus our 132,000 men. All right, time to release this because yeah, the people here do not like me. I was only able to give them Sicily. How do I give subjects land? Okay, I thought you could just give them land. That is, that is an issue. That is a big issue. <laughs> Fun fact, you can barely see the rise in GDP after taking over half of Italy. <laughs> okay, I just had to reload the game again because I couldn't put diplomatic play. So yeah, very fun. I must say, this game is very stable. Can't wait for the DLC to come out and break everything again. <laughs> wait, why am I fighting the, the religious jealousy revolt who are communists? They have served them in debt slavery. Where is the communism? There are also just no sounds anymore whenever a war happens. I, I love it. The game is so breaking. You know, when I have all the diplomatic pacts, I can't even see the graph of me getting money anymore. Wait a fucking second. Italy took my puppets back that I released. How does that work? They're my puppets. I love this game. It is such a good game. Oh my god. No, I think we're gonna end it for here. The game is just shitting itself more every day I play. And the days barely pass, so yeah. This mod definitely makes it fun to just like take over half of Africa within the first 20 years. But on the other hand, it makes it lag as hell because of all these units. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.